Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. We are getting back, straight back into this. I've done, I've dropped two videos so far on budgeting. Um, I hope you have watched those two before coming to this video. If not, I would recommend watching those first two videos before this one so everything kind of makes sense. I will do a brief overview. But first, I just want to re uh, introduce myself. My name is Natasha. I have been on YouTube for a while, not consistently, and um, I just enjoy doing budgeting videos, budgeting myself. I also do videos on Poshmark, um, how to get started on Poshmark, how to make ex an extra income with Poshmark. Um, I've been on there for several years. I also do um, bins hauls, the Goodwill bins. I will be doing videos on that. Just life things as well, updates. Um, I do have multiple sclerosis and a couple of other um, chronic illnesses that I will do an update video on soon. But this right here is one of my things that I'm passionate about. Um, I am 43 and just learning how to budget. Um, it wasn't something that was taught. My parents weren't taught it, so I'm doing my very best to try to uh, make it easier for everybody in the world to be able to make it, especially in today's economy. There's my light. should be uh, easier for you to see. Now, um, the last two videos, I went over how to what the, the things that you need to get started in this process. You need to know what your... Um, income is everybody who is uh, contributing to the bills and everything like that within your household, you and your your spouse, you, I mean, whatever. Um, how often you are paid. This one is based off of being paid weekly. Um, here's my income on a weekly basis, my husband's income on a weekly basis. Hopefully you can see that it's right here. Um, and then break that down and then your the next couple things that you need to know is your what is your cost for everything your rent your mortgage how much it is what day it is due the things that need to be your utilities your cell phone your car payment your car insurance all your fixed expenses here and then your variable expenses are variable meaning the the cost of them or the charge is a it varies uh, month to month meaning like your visa bill you have a credit card uh, that your monthly payment is going to um, decrease, increase, uh, it's going to fluctuate. Same thing with, um, I don't know if you have uh, your groceries, obviously, in today's world, you never know how, how freaking expensive it's going to be for groceries, um, gas, the cost of gas on a weekly basis, how much it is for you within your family. Things like that. That's what would go here to variable expenses. So I went through that. I also went through um, how to break this $14.95, which is our weekly, what we bring home, which we, what we actually get in our bank account. We break that up. Um, we broke it up on a actual calendar here for the month of November and then into December. So we just did rent all at one time, which was, is going to be due on the 8th. If you see it here, $910. That's not going to change this upcoming month. Um, but it will change drastically the month of December because we have broke it down so much here. So, for instance, I'll just go over one before I go into the next part of this video. Utilities. If you look here on utilities, it's not due until the 18th. So we're going to go... How many, how many paydays we get paid on Fridays? How many paydays do we have before that is due? So here you can see that there's one, two, three paydays before the utilities is due. So every pay period, $36 will be paid to utilities. And you should be able through your bank, all of your fixed expenses should be able to be scheduled to come out on a weekly basis if you want them to. Or you can just uh, make sure that that amount stays in your account. I personally just prefer just to pay it every single week. So I broke it all of these down like that. Same thing with your cell phone. It's not due until the 18th, which is $65. How many pay periods do I have before that is due? Again, three. So I broke that down. The cell phone is $22 each pay paycheck, which... Um, 
besides the rent that brings it to for your your fixed expenses is two hundred and six dollars weekly. So um, I figured all that information in. Also, the visa bill is figured in there. The groceries, your gas is figured in there as well. Um, and I broke that down in my second video. If you want to go look at that, there was enough left over within this budget here that we could also continue to start paying on a weekly basis for our mortgage and also our car insurance. So $228 for our mortgage, two, uh, $27 for the car insurance every single week. So when we get to December, we've broken our mortgage up on a weekly basis so you don't have so much due out of one paycheck um, when it is due here in um, December. So December here, rent is due, and we have um, one, two, three, four paychecks before that is due. So we did $228 each paycheck. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, it definitely should, um, and it should make things a lot easier for you to be able to figure out how you're going to pay them. There should be some money left over out of your fixed expenses and variable expenses. Now, the rest of what I'm going to tell you does not come into play if you are behind on anything. So I'm going to talk today about um, your sinking funds, which are things that you're going to be saving for to be more prepared throughout the year. I have those here. I went over those in another video. This is $391 weekly. And this is emergency fund bulk grocery, meaning like going to Sam's to get your toilet paper, your paper towels, Christmas, vacation, adult clothing, date night, holidays. These are two are personal. So whatever, if there's two people in the home, um, each of them get $6 a week to go towards whatever additional beyond this that they want to save for. Getting ahead on your car insurance, six months ahead, any car maintenance, um, quarterly dinners with family, like a large go out to eat or buy, buy things, make a large dinner so everybody can come together. So that's four times a year. It's nine dollars a week to get to pay off the visa bill. Any doctors, co-pays, medical, uh, you know, if you're sick, the, the cost of the medicine. I figured that to be um, $18 per person. There's four people in my family, so $72 weekly. This is just a fun sinking fund that we'll do uh, different ones. Um, we'll find a goal for, you know, every month or something, and it'll be $11 weekly, or we can we can change this up, whatever I'd like to do. However you want to do it. This is just an example. This is mine. I'm going to go in more depth with this. We're going to cash stuff this, but none of this matters if you are behind on any of your bills. If you are behind on any of your bills, the only things that you are going to do as far as sinking funds is an emergency fund. Emergency fund, um, something else that is very important to you, your family, maybe it's Christmas, something or other, but the, the focus is to not be behind on your bills. So any additional money that you have left over on a weekly basis, if that's how you are paid, that is what you need to focus your money on. So that being said, I'm not behind on any bills, so we are going to move forward with these sinking funds. We also have children's sinking funds. My children are grown, but I based this um, scenario is if we had two, um, two children that are elementary age. We did different kids' funds for these, um, which is their future, um, their car, investing for them, school supplies, clothes, field trips, parties, summer, birthdays, Christmas. And that's uh, for each child. It comes out to $86 weekly for two children. Um, and we are going to stuff that as well. But before we stuff them, I wanted to, we did all of this other information that I did go over just now um, pretty quickly. I can slow it down if it's too quick for you. But if you have done this part already, you figured out what your income is, you have also put down your fixed expenses here. The date that they are due, your variable expenses, um, and you have placed them on your calendar like I've done here. Here, and you have figured out what you have left over after doing all of that. Then you can take whatever is left, and we're going to you're going to fill out your sinking funds. What do you want to budget for? What's important for your family? Again, this is only if you are not behind on any bills. I'll do another video like this if we were behind on bills, What, how I would 
would do that. So what are your savings goals? What debts do you want to pay off? Any sinking funds for the entire family? Then, then figure out what things that you need to save for for your children. You know, school supplies, it always, these are all things that happen every year, but somehow we, it always just sneaks up on us. So why not just get ahead of the game? So the kids' the school supplies, the uh, clothing, they are going to need, they're going to grow within the year, especially elementary age. They're going to need a pair of shoes mid-year. They're probably going to need new underwear and socks mid-year to go on field trips, science fair, like prepare for all those things, sports, all of that. That's what these sinking funds are for, to, to try to prepare so that nothing is a uh, surprise, that you've tried to prepare for absolutely everything, and then you're trying to get rid of your visa bill, that's why I have here, um, visa bill, you're trying to get rid of that, the um, car insurance, we are trying to get ahead of that, so we're trying to pay um, six months in advance this next year for insurance. Anything we can do to make our lives a little bit easier, um, and so us as moms do not have to stress all the time. So that being said, so if you have your sinking funds written out, you know how much you're going to be able to afford on a weekly basis. Same thing with your kids. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print out one of these. I will put a, a link to a free one. Um, these are the cash envelopes for the teller. These are This is the slip that you're going to give to the bank teller at the bank in order to get these amounts that you need in order to stuff. So the first thing that you're going to do, I'll do it with you, is you're going to take a pen. You're going to go to, uh, down the list. Now you've gone, before you do this, you are extra sure that all of these, these figures are correct, that it fits in your budget. Um, you're going to um, then go through each one of these. So the first one is the emergency fund. So the emergency fund, um, you don't need to put anything there. It is $58. So this here is the, the bill amount that you want. So I'm just going to do a 50, a 5, 6, 7, 8. So that totals $58 on a weekly basis. Same thing with the bulk grocery bulk grocery is $19. So you're going to do a 10. You're going to do a 5. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Next, exactly the same thing, Christmas. Christmas is $19. So you're going to do a 10, a 5. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hopefully that makes sense. You're just doing, you're just trying to get these exact how do we get to nine is what you're basically doing. So you're going to need a five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are $1 bills, $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, $50 bills, and $100 bills. Same thing with clothing. Um, this is actually $18 because we're doing two vacations. Did I do that right? Um, we'll just do it again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, date night is $18, so we're going to do a 10, a 5, that's 15, 16, 17, 18. Holidays is $8, so we're going to do 5, 6, 7, 8. Personal is $6, it's 5, 6. Same thing here, personals, 5 and 6. Next one is car insurance, $27. We're going to do a two, 20, a 5, 6, 7. Then this one is going to be car maintenance for two vehicles. is $24 a week. So we're going to do a 2 or a 20, and we're going to do four ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Family dinners, quarterly is $9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Visa, we're almost done with sinking funds. The next one is your visa bill is $36. So $36 would be a 20, a 10, so that's 30, and a 5, that's 35, and then $1 up here, which is $36. So eight, uh, we're going to do doctor, doctors, co-pays, medical expenses, which is $18 a person, times four people is $72 weekly. So we're going to do a 50 I'm going to do a 20, 
that's 70 and then we're going to do two up here one two and then we have um we have three more to go um just for fun is 11 dollars. we're going to do a 10 and 11 and then pets is 18 dollars 10 15 16 17 18 and then we have one more up here which is home maintenance home maintenance would be um changing out the light bulbs every year um replacing the batteries in your smoke alarms um i don't know it could even be home decor if you want it's all up to you this is an example for you and you do not have to follow this what is important to you and your family what would make your life a whole lot easier if you could budget it so this is the last one um home maintenance it's a 20 a 10 which is 30 and then four up here one two three four so we're going to do this two ways to make sure that we have it correctly we're going to count this should total 391 um total for a weekly so we're going to see if this uh, also adds up so 50 times 2 is 100 and then make sure that you can see this and then we're going to do um 20 40 60 40 68 100 dollars in 20s so that should be 200 and then 10s 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 dollars in um tens and then fives is um 25 50 55 60 65 and then ones 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 46 47 48 383 let's see what we did wrong here and that's what happens i i'm not going to edit this you just have to go back and refigure so this totaled 383 now let's see what we're, we have uh, incorrect over here. So 34, 36. 72, 11, 18. Well, we are off completely. So now we're going to have to just refigure. So 426. We are completely, uh, I'm going to have to refigure this. <clears throat> Six is what it should be. Is four twenty six minus three eighty three equals? We are off by forty three dollars. So what is it that we messed up on? Hmm. I'm just gonna do it again down here. Thirty four. Twenty. Thirty. One two three four. I'm gonna check that. We did that one. This is eighteen. So ten. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I know you guys are probably hollering at me telling me what I missed. But this is how it works. It happens. Can't get frustrated. We'll just figure it out. We're, we're up here at Doctors and Co. Pays is 72, 50, 60, 72, 36. Well, I forgot to mark these. 36 is a 20. A 10, a 5, a 1, 9 is a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 24 is a 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 27, 6, 5, 6, Eight, 
10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 58, 55, no, that's right, that's wrong, 55, 6, 7, 8, okay, let's try this again, 100 for here, 100 for here, 10, 20, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 25, 50, 5, 65, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 393, what the heck am I missing, y'all? I'll have to figure this out, but this, I just really wanted you to know how to fill this out. So once you do figure it out and your numbers match, which I'll probably have to do a third time. Again, I'm not going to edit this out because this is how it works. It's going to take a little bit of time to get this all to configure, but you're going to, you, once it does, you're going to add, put this total here, what the value of all of these are. So this number that goes here that you're going to give to the teller should match this number here that you have for them and it i don't know exactly what i did wrong i will figure it out i'll let you know in the next video uh, but you will take this you'll cut this out um, if this is what your figures are going to be every single week then i would just make a copy of this or just keep this in your wallet and then you would go do your um withdrawal and with your withdrawal and your license or whatever you would hand them this and then so you can get the exact uh, bill values that you want in order to do your sinking fund envelopes. So don't get wrapped up too much in that these figures don't match right now here in this video with me. I will go back through and um, get them to match up. But I wanted to just make this video so that you know the whole process uh, and before we actually do our um, cash stuffing, which I will do in my next video. Um, you don't need anything fancy for that part either. You're just going to, again, once your, your budget, your sinking funds, this all tallies together, then you're going to get, I got th these envelopes here, um, cost maybe $2, and then I got the index cards, so now all you're going to do is all of your sinking funds, you're going to give them each an envelope, like I have here. So you're going to these you're going to need these two things to do this one here so this again this is after you've made everything match you've went and you have um, asked the teller at the bank um, to give you a certain denominations back you've received those now you have the money now you're going to come back and you're going to get your envelopes your index card you put emergency fund here you can put the value each week that it's going to be here or you can put it on the back side. I just put the total that it will that it will um, come up to at the end here. And then you're just going to put, um, I'm just going to turn this actually over to the other side. And I'm going to write emergency fund here. And then you would put today's date, whatever today is. And then you've added um, $58. And so I'm not going to put that because I don't know um, if it's going to be today or if it's going to be tomorrow that I do this part. But you put whatever date you are stuffing these with the money. Um, the amount that you've put in there, it should match up to this here. And then you just draw another line. And the next time you would do the same thing. So you would have $58 in from the first week. You're going to be adding an additional $58 the second week. And then you would add those together. It would be $116. So the reason for this part is just to keep you accountable. There may be times that you are going to need to pull from this. Um, so then when you come back six weeks from now and it's less than what you thought, you should be able to come 